It's venting time, which anytime anybody vents, all it is is them talking about their problems that you really care nothing about. But I figure, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. So I cut grass and do yard work outside for extra money on the side. And every time I show up at a customer's house, they look at me in shock at how old I am not. They open up the door and they're always like, Oh, you are so young! It's too hot out here! Stay out of the sun! It's not good for the children! Lady, first of all, where are you from? And second of all, I'm not a children. I'm old enough to do everything in this country except for run for president. They're making me wait another 14 years before I can write my name in on the next ballot. I guess the stereotype is that people think that yard work is for older people who never really made it in life. But this is not so. I'm in my 20s, and last time I checked, I'm not quite old enough to start drawing Social Security yet. So lady, it's fine. I'll cut your grass, and I'll be the one to risk skin cancer so the children don't have to suffer. Glad I got that off of mine. Now moving on. Let's go on to the main course and eat it up. Starting in three, two, one, boom. I can't figure out who I love more, Jacob or Edward. You know, Edward's gross. Team Jacob all the way. You know what, guys? Bella's so gorgeous. Vampires don't sparkle. Do I even have to say the name of what I'm going to be trashing today? For the three people left in America who have no clue what I'm talking about, imagine a love triangle between a human, a werewolf, and a vampire. That is the basic essence of Twilight. And it's cornier than ethanol. But all of you guys already know that it's corny and that it's stupid and no one really likes it anymore, so how is it still popular? All my friends can talk about is how hokey it is and how much they're sick of Twilight. So the only explanation is that there are a lot of closeted fans out there. I think it's pretty obvious too, I mean you can spot them from a mile away. You can tell that someone is a closeted Twilight fan because they actually go out of their way to talk about how much they dislike it. Hey dude, did you see that movie Vampires Suck? Oh man, dude, I, Twilight is so dumb, I, I cannot stand that thing, it's, it's so stupid. How do people watch that junk? <laughs> I'm not talking about Twilight, dude. I'm talking about Vampires Suck. It's a different movie. Yeah, I know, but it's so hokey. I, I can't believe people actually watch that. When, <laughs> uh, I wonder if he knows I'm on Team Edward. So to all the closeted Twilight fans out there, grow a pair and show your true colors. The color of your heart. Which is black like a deep space nebula. I read somewhere that vampires' hearts are black. Is that true? Wait, what am I saying? Of course it's not true, because vampires aren't real. Why did I even have to ask myself that question? But anyways, at the end of the day, I'm still stuck here sitting in my bedroom while Stephanie Meyer and the producers of Twilight are laughing the entire way to the bank. Because, yeah, they, they've got a lot more money than me. Which is actually true of all the celebrities that I trash. So yeah, they're always going to beat me in a game of poker. But who is truly happier in life? That is TBD. Or TBA. Add that to your list of questions that won't be solved before you die. So kids, what have we learned today? Young people don't just smoke grass, we can cut it too. I'm a Team Edward fan. No, I'm I, I really not. No, that for I'm not. And for charity, we should put all the famous celebrities together in a poker match. There's gotta be some sort of stakes involved. Like the loser has to play the lead role in the next M. Night Shyamalan movie. Now before we go, it's time to feature the YouTuber of the day. And the YouTuber of the day is this guy named Tobuscus. Now Tobuscus is already really, really popular, so I'm not worried about getting him exposure. But I think it's only appropriate because he did a literal interpretation of the Twilight trailer. What does that even mean, literal interpretation? Exactly what it sounds like. He took the trailer, then he talked about it literally. I mean, it's right here. Take a look at it. Just a minute, dad, dad, thinks she's hot. Run the mom. His swamp represents the moon. Dad. Hold her hand, Taylor's face, Kristen's face. Will they kiss? No. It all begins with a choice made to Taylor's face. Robert's face. Grade two, Kristen contemplates a taste in hell. Yeah, I told you it was pretty funny. Of course, I can't take any credit for it all. I mean, that, that was all him. That was all Tobuscus. No trash to TV. You, I am below you. But check out his channel, some of his other videos. He's a really funny guy. I'm friends with him. I subscribe to him. You should too. That's it for today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my stuff on the side or whichever side. At both sides. This has been another episode of Trash the TV, and I'm your host, Matt. Now go trash something.